The Find My App is probably one of the most underrated apps on your iPhone, and it's probably one of my favorites. That's why in this video, I wanted to show you over 25 tips, tricks, and a couple hidden features that I'm sure you didn't know about. Come here. If you learn more than five new features or tips and tricks, I mean, I, the only thing that you could do is at least subscribe or like or, or comment. I mean, do something. Okay, let's start with the basics. The Find My App makes it so easy to keep track of all of your Apple ecosystem, all of your devices, even when the battery has run out. That's what makes it so powerful. It also helps you locate your items, such as my keys, with AirTag, or even keep track of your friends and family using Find My Friends. And you can even track someone with precision finding, and not in a creepy way, and I'll tell you why later on. So the Find My app works on every device that you would expect. The iPhone, the iPad, the Apple Watch, the Mac, AirPods, AirTag, and something that not a lot of people know is that there's actually Find My compatible devices. From wallets, to bicycles, to AirTag-like devices that are cheaper, to earphones. I'll actually link some down below in the description some Amazon finds that you might find useful. Find my compatible devices such as the Van Moo is basically like a bicycle that had a built-in AirTag so you can actually locate your bike. There's not like a physical AirTag inside, there's just like the Find My Network inside of it. It's pretty cool. Once again, I'll link some down below in the description. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can locate your devices. Let's start off with sound. The AirPods Pro 2, for example, have built-in speakers so you can actually locate your AirPods by pinging them using the Find My app. So if you actually open up your AirPods inside of the Find My app, you'll now get a play sound feature. So if you tap that, you'll actually be able to ping your AirPods. And the AirPods Pro 2 are actually quite loud, so you can locate them with ease. The AirPods Pro 2 also have precision finding, so you'll actually have a precision finding feature. So if you tap on Find Nearby, you'll actually be able to locate them down exactly with precision, with once again, precision finding. And this UI will pop up, so if your AirPods are sitting under your couch, you're gonna be able to find them. And this menu will open up, and once again, you can actually ping your AirPods from there. One of my favorite features about the Apple Watch is that I can actually ping my iPhone directly from my watch. Just like that. I'm sure everyone knows about this if you own an Apple Watch, but I'm sure you didn't know about this. If you actually hold on the ping my iPhone icon, as you can see, the flashlight will actually turn on making it extremely easy to locate your iPhone during nighttime. Also, if you own the Apple Watch Series 9 or the Apple Watch Ultra 2, you're also gonna be able to locate your iPhone using precision finding. So you can actually locate your iPhone exactly so you can know, once again, it's under the couch. So once again, everybody knows how to ping your iPhone using your Apple Watch, but did you know that you can actually ping your Apple Watch using your iPhone? Let me show you how to do it. So you first go to your iPhone, which by the way, if you wanna get my wallpaper, the keep on moving wallpaper, I'll link it down below in the description. There's actually two versions, which is pretty cool. As soon as you unlock your iPhone home screen, as you can see the keep and moving character actually is gone. So you can actually have a cleaner home screen. Links in the description if you're interested. Okay, so if you want to ping your Apple Watch using your iPhone, here's how I have it set up. By going on my control center, I have my ping my Apple Watch feature. So if I simply tap, as you can see, I just pinged my Apple Watch. Now to add this secret feature on your iPhone, you're going to want to go inside of settings, control center, and then scroll down till you see ping my watch. And then you simply add it. And as you can see, it is now there, so if you go back to your control center, it will live right there. So just like that, you can now ping your Apple Watch using your iPhone. One really useful feature about the Find My app is that you can actually get notified when you leave an item or a device behind. And there's tons of users that actually find this feature annoying, and that's because they don't know how to use it. So let me show you how to really use it. So if you go to an item, for example, my wallet, this is actually an AirTag. As you can see right here, under notifications, you can actually activate notify when found or notify when left behind. So let's go ahead and tap on notify when left behind. And over here, you can actually customize that experience. So what this will do is what I told you, receive a notification when you leave Nikis's wallet behind. This can be helpful when taking the item with you. Now, a lot of people find this really annoying. For example, someone that uses an iPad at home and every single time that person leaves home, they'll get notified, hey, you just left your iPad at home. And the annoyed user is like, bro, I don't want to take my iPad with me. That's why notify me except at feature comes in really handy. So the tip that I'm going to give you is make sure to think, okay, do I want to be notified when I leave my keys at the office? Maybe you do. Do you want to be notified always of your keys? Maybe you do. Do you want to be notified on your iPad whenever you leave your home? Because maybe you don't take your iPad with you. There's not a secret sauce to all of this. You've got to customize it depending on your need. This is probably one of the most powerful features inside of the Find My app because it can 
really save all of your devices. And if you're clumsy like me and you're leaving everything behind you every single day, the Find My App can come in really handy for you. If you lost your iPhone or your AirTag, you can actually enable lost mode. So what lost mode will do, as you can see, Notify when found, you will receive a notification when the location becomes available. So maybe you lost your iPhone and the battery is like really, really dead and the location becomes unavailable. When someone charges that iPhone or when somebody turns it on, you'll actually get notified and you'll actually get notified on the exact address that it's actually at at that exact moment. You can actually find my lock as well. So this item is linked to your Apple ID so no one else can pair it. So once lost mode is turned on, no one else can actually activate that iPhone unless it's you, which makes it really handy. And you can also leave a message. You can leave a phone number or email for the finder of your item to contact you. The next step of lost mode is you can actually add a phone number so someone can actually contact you. As you can see, you can leave a message. This item has been lost. Please call me. And there you go. Just like that, you've now activated lost mode on a device using Find Mode. If you've lost your iPhone for more than a week, for example, and you're scared that someone's actually gonna access your data, even though the iPhone's pretty much secure, but just in case, you can actually erase this device, which comes in really handy. So just like that, I could press continue. And let's say this Apple Watch, I lost it and I don't want anyone activating my credit cards or anything. Just by a tap, I can erase all content and settings will be erased when this Apple Watch connects to the internet. And erased Apple Watch cannot be located or tracked any longer. So this is truly the last step you want to take. You got to erase all the data once you know you've lost that device. Because once you tap that, you won't be able to track your device any longer. When you tap this, this means that you've officially lost your device, which is pretty sad. So the magic of the Find My Network and the way that an AirTag works or the way that an iPhone works is, let's say an AirTag, right? The way that an AirTag updates its location, whenever someone from the street that owns an Apple device, such as an iPhone, which is a lot of the population, let's say you leave these keys at the coffee shop. If someone at the coffee shop has an iPhone, it will update its location automatically. And that's the main difference on the Find My network and not a different network, because literally everyone owns an iPhone. So if you lose a device, your location will pretty much be updated quickly, unless you leave your keys in the middle of the mountain. And the magic on the Find My network as well is that it even works within a certain period of time even when the battery of your iphone is dead there's actually a battery reserve once your battery dies that will be used just like that just in case you lose your iphone you've got a couple extra hours to still locate that iphone now i gotta say the ear tags are the main protagonist of the find my network you don't use them every single day maybe not even every single month but when you need them they're always there for you they come in the one pack or the four pack and you can use them in a bunch of different ways you can put them in your bike in your keys in your backpack and something that not a lot of people know is that you can actually share an air tag with someone so let's say you buy an air tag and you put them in your keys and you want your wife to have access to that air tag as well within ios 17 you can now do that so you can add a person share this air tag with someone so by simply doing like that you can actually invite someone just like that so i can now give access to a friend robert now has access to my location with the keys you're welcome apart from the air tag apple also sells the MagSafe wallet which comes in really handy it simply snaps in the back of your iphone which stores around four cards and the best thing about this guy is that it uses the find my app so once you detach your MagSafe wallet it will actually update its location inside of the find my app so let's say you paid at a restaurant and you forgot your MagSafe wallet at the restaurant you will know its last location which was the restaurant so hopefully you could could find your wallet. What other wallet does this? You can also invite people to share their location with you using Find My Friends. For example, me and my girlfriend, we have our location set up. Now this can come in really handy and can bring a lot of safety in a lot of different situations. The way that we use it is basically in two to three different ways. One, let's say Chenya is at work and I don't want to disturb her by texting, hey, have you left work yet? Because maybe she is still at work and I don't want to bother her. I can simply open up the Find My app and see if she's still at work or maybe she's driving and then talking about driving that brings to reason number two i can know if she's safe i can know if she got to work safely or if she got home safely which brings me to my third reason and another trick that i wanted to give you you can actually add notifications inside of find my friend so you can actually tap on add notifications and tap on notify me and there's a lot of customization here the way that i do it is whenever chenya arrives at home it will send me a notification because arriving home safely today days sounds like an easy job but depending on where you live 
it isn't. This is really handy for parents as well to know when your kid has has arrived at school, has arrived at soccer practice, or has arrived at home. Obviously, this can be used in a lot of wrong ways. Please don't use this to locate someone or to fight someone or to be creepy or to... I mean, this can be useful for a lot of different safety reasons. I told you the ways that I use it and Chenya uses to track me to keep track of each other's safety. iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro users also have precision finding inside of Find My Friend. So me and my girlfriend, let's say we're in a market and I lost her. Maybe we're at a mall and I lost her because we were literally at the store and she's currently gone and then I call her and she doesn't reply. So what we do is simply open up the Find My app and over here, if she's actually next to me, a precision finding UI will pop up and I can actually find her just like an air tag. This is useful for shopping or maybe you're at Disney World and you want to find your kids or maybe you're with a group of friends at a festival and you want to see where your friends are and you can basically find your friends just like an air tag. Also keep in mind that you can actually add widgets of find my I actually have um, the location of my keys right here but there's tons more that you can actually add. To go you simply open up this menu and then tap on find my and you can add widgets from your item in small or large view or of people as well if you want tons more tips and tricks surrounding apple health you can tap this video right here or you can subscribe okay thank you for watching be safe bye bye